got a short fuse. And stay away from matches. <laughs> seven up with the Marauders continuing their drive. Quarterback Pete Tilson continues to mix him up, showing why he's one of the top quarterbacks in this league. Before here, going to do it. 245! 245! Tilson back to pass right now, connecting with his tight end, Bob Latore, just shy of the first down. Looks like three yards short of the first down marker. I've always loved football. It's not a pretty game, but it can be beautiful. I happen to know the owner and coach of the New York Marauders, so I had the special privilege of being able to watch the games from the sidelines. Nice play, Pete! Nick Stanton had been a friend of mine for years. I'd watched his daughter, Chrissy, grow from a kitten into a walking danger zone. Mike, he's that kid the greatest? Yeah, he is, but don't let Cassell hear you say that. Hey, why not? I raised him from a dumb rookie, didn't I? <laughs> Nick never had a son, but he didn't need one. Pete was his pride and joy. Oh, hello, Chrissy. Last time I saw you, you were playing with Jax. I still do. But now they're six feet tall. Congratulate me, Mike. I just got a job as a Marauders cheerleader. Well, that's great. Congratulations, Chrissy. How does your dad feel about you shaking your tail for the fans? If I was him, I'd lock you up for a month. Mike Hammer, do I look like a child to you? That's my point. Tilson giving off to his running back, picking up about two or three yards. Should be enough for the first down. Tilson continues to keep that momentum going. You get a chance trying to give us more information, Tilson. Hey, that's good. And uh, you keep it up. Get back out there and keep hitting him like you've been doing. Come on, do it. Want to pull a Swifty, Nick? Just gets football, buddy, remember? Oh, yeah. When I was playing against her, Nick never let me look good. Oh, no, just all pros, six years out of eight. My sympathies, big guy. <laughs> I see my old pal Buddy Lofton walking the sidelines. Don't forget, fans, at halftime of this football game, the former All-Pro will be discussing with the two coaches their strategies for today's game. And one of them 
one of the fine coaches in this league, Nick Stanton, one of the last owner coaches in the game, and I'm sure he'll be his usual colorful, outspoken self. You won't want to miss that. Okay, Tilson now going back to pass, rolling towards right. Uh, I think he lost his footing right there, and he is, oh, he is really cracked. Hey, Bowman and Tilson is down. He is down, and it looks like he is out. Right now, the trainer is going out as well. Uh, Nick Stanton, the owner. Boy, it looks like Tilson is really hurt. He has not moved yet. He's dead. No. 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 I love it. 60,000 suspects. Yeah, but only one killer. And I'm going to find him. Here's your plan, Mike. I. Pete Tilson came to me raw. He lived in my house. I taught him. Raised him from a wild kid into... I want whoever killed him. You'll have him, Nick. You'll be able to spread him on toast. Okay. Here comes the circus, complete with the performing weasel. Do we get anything? In just one moment. Oh, no, if it isn't Wonder Man. Who'd you expect, the Green Hornet? Mike's a witness. Did you get his statement? Not yet. Well, then move him out. Not yet. Gentlemen, how may it be of service? Yeah, take up real estate. Do you have any suspects? Uh, buddy, we're on top of the case, and I'm personally taking charge of this investigation, and uh, all aspects will be under constant review by me. In other words, you have nothing, right? They're in folk six. And I check every big bookie in town, Mike. Pete Tilson has a way to bet in five, six years. Really? Just a plane, huh? Yeah, of course, that don't mean that somebody didn't lay against the Marauders. Without Tilson the lineup, they couldn't beat St. Erasmus girls high. That's why Nick had him insured for the big bucks. Nick insured Tilson? How big? Big, big. Two million five. Two million? Are you sure? Ask Nick. You bet I will. Vice President of Tilson's bank says he banked his paycheck and invested the money. No big cash withdrawals or deposits. How'd you get him to tell you all that? I promised to let him balance my checkbook. Well, I don't buy it. What? Tilson. I mean, Nick told me he was a wild kid. Now you're telling me he's up for sainthood. Ozzy, I need more. I've got to go, Mike. Got a big business appointment. Terry, you're Mike Hammer. I'm Terry Michaels. Oh, shall I notify the press? Mike, I've told Terry here. How you and Ozzy are working on the case? And that you're real tight with the Marauders? Yeah, I'm working on the case. You know, Mike, I would just love to be a Marauder cheerleader. Oh, I'll make a note. Really? Well, I know all the routines. Push him back, push him back, way back. Honey, I'd call that anything but routine. You know, if you could help me, I could be really grateful. Sweetheart, I'd love to, but... Uh, Ozzy, here's the guy with all the clout. I need your help, Ozzy. Oh, you got it, Mike, anything. Be gentle with her. Oh, oh yeah. Um, hey, have a seat. And uh, we'll discuss this at great length. <laughs> See, Mike then finish this. I hadn't known Pete Tilson off the field, and I needed to find out what kind of man he really was. He was like a Formula One racing car, sleek and great on the curve. Hello, my name is Mike Cameron. I'm a private investigator. Ray. Oh, a comedian. Listen, artichoke. Nick Stanton asked me to investigate Pete Tilson's murder. I've got some questions for you. Sure. 
Anything we can do to help? What can you tell me about Pete Tilson's murder? I got a contract to play football, not 20 questions. Tony! This guy's a garbage man. He gets his kicks playing with trash, and not me. You got a problem, pal? I don't think so. Oh. Now you do. Get you some cold water. Oh, okay. Hi there. Well, hello. Would you like a shower? Thanks. I already have one. Are you girls all that shy? Oh, not me. I'm Dana Lord, head cheerleader. The incompetent hawk out there is Tony Cryer, wide receiver. Yeah, who lit his fuse? Oh, well, we're all pretty shook up about what happened to Pete. Nick Staten loved Pete, as if Pete were his own son. What can you tell me about Pete? Oh, he was a human sewer. He told lies for practice. He cheated for fun. He used all of his friends and he hooked people. The cheerleaders? Oh, he went through my girls like a disease. He used them, he dumped them, he worked them. Then he worked them over. Hmm. Was he involved with gambling? I don't know for sure. But he made a move on me once. He was a little drunk and he tried to impress me with a safety deposit box full of cash. Did you actually see the money? No. I iced him down. After that, we didn't mingle much. Hmm. Who else would know about this? Let me ask around, Mike. You know, if you lay this on Nick, it's going to hurt him. Yeah, well, lying to him would hurt a lot worse. Thanks. You're a nice guy, Hammer. You taste pretty good yourself. I'd appreciate you finding out whatever you can. been over all the tapes. This is the only good angle. The others are all long shots. He fades back. And he was looking downfield. And he had to move to his left. OK, now freeze it right there. Up to that point, Pete had had a pretty good day. That's all we have, Mike. Not much help, I guess. Found any kind of motive? Just between us, buddy. Tilson was into heavy gambling. He was throwing games. No. No way, Mike. I played against Pete. My last season, his first. He was good. Really good. Why would he do something like that? I'll give you the why when I find out the who. Yeah, when you find out. Hey, now remember, I get the first crack. You get to finish the job. I'll see you later. Oh, excuse me. Hey, you've got great reflexes. Thanks. You've got pretty good ones yourself. Do you like to work out? I love it. As long as it's not in the gym. Mm. I wanted to talk to my friend Nick Stanton about the huge insurance policy he'd taken out on Pete. After his death, there were flags all over the field, but I wasn't expecting interference. Hello, Chrissy. Mike. Uh, Dad's being interviewed. He'll be back in a little while. Want a drink? No, thanks. Hmm. I think I'll have one. When'd you start drinking? Mike. I know, you're all grown.
grown up now. Talk, talk, talk. Is that all you do with your women, Mike? Just chat? In your case, yes. I stopped breaking in fillies a long time ago. Why? Jailbait. Hey. Hi, Mike. I could use a drink, baby. I can get Mike a beer. That's his drink. Uh, coming right up. I mean, a million questions. They keep digging away. All about Pete. Come up with something? Yep. Come on, give. Well, Nick, there was some dirt in Pete's life. Uh, exactly what does that mean? Can't just wait until tomorrow. No, no. What do you mean, dirt? Problems. Troubles. It turns out that Pete was mixed up with some sleazy deals. Bull. I mean, he was straight arrow. I knew him. He was like a son. Stop being cute, Mike. Whatever you think you found out, you say it. All right, Nick. He was tied into heavy gambling. He used you. He went through half your cheerleading squad and he used his connection with you to pressure them into the sack. Are you crazy? He even beat up on a couple of them. And he threw some game. Now, where'd you get that crud? I mean, those are lies. Yeah. People resented Pete. And you knew about it. You were worried about it. You bought two and a half million dollars worth of insurance on Pete. Why? Just in case? No, because he was a star. The difference. The reason the, the, the fans came out. I mean, let's face it, Mike. I don't have deep pockets. My players, they aren't the greatest. I mean, as I has been, the maybes, the would bees. Without Pete, I got problems. What about the insurance money? Well, they held up the payment. I mean, too many unresolved questions. And yeah, without that money, I go down the tubes. No, we'll make it. Without Pete, he had so much talent. Oh, he came on a little strong once in a while, but no real enemies. I mean, Chrissy and I, we really knew that boy. Daddy, I'm sorry. I didn't want to have to tell you. He tried to rape me seven months ago back there in that room. What? What are you saying? Pete was not that pure. He had a lot of people who wanted to see him dead. No! Nick's. <laughs> 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 As long as I had known Nick Stanton, he'd been as tough as a $2 steak. He lived through a lot before Pete Tilson was killed, but now he'd never quite be the same. Sorry, Mike. Chrissy. Daddy. You told it to me straight? Yeah. I didn't want to kill you, though. Hey, you didn't. I'd be a sorry mess if I couldn't take the truth. Cheap gambling. And it killed him. Maybe. Nick, you still want to know? Who did it? Yes. Good. So do I. Hey, I built the Marauders from scratch. I want my team cleaned up. It's liable to mean some bad press for you. Hey, I deserve it. I was stupid. I can live with that. Just give me the killer. You'll have him. Get wrapped. Take it easy. And at the 16th pole, it's still kicking the number nine horns. It's first, Lou Street, and second, Dr. Navy calling back. They're fighting in the wire now. It's still kicking in Lou Street. Still kicking in Lou Street. Tilson may have been killed because he was throwing games. It was a long shot guess, so I went to see a bona fide expert on long shots. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Mike. You see that last race? You believe the finish. Did you lose much? Lose what? Lose. I had the hay bag figure to win by a lance, not a nose. Disappointing. All right, Johnny, listen, I need some information. Hey. Come here. Satan sank in the field, across the board. No, Johnny, not that kind of information. You heard about Pete Tilson, he was shot and killed. Yeah. Word sneaked down to the 11 o'clock news. Yeah, the word is he was throwing games. That's a very unhealthy habit. Who was he hooked into? That's my question. It's a definite challenge. Let me get to work on it. Thanks, John. Hey, Mikey. 
I will be very discreet because these people could become upset and even dangerous to you. So what else is new? Hey, aren't you guys going to buy anything? Get him whatever he wants, put it on my table. Horses we'll are entering the starting gate. Give your eyeballs a rest. Look at 31 across. Shrunk. Are you kidding? You look great. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> Listen, how'd you put this thing on? I think you're right. Now, look, the head cheerleader's name is Dana Lord. She knows you're coming. Good. Do you trust her? About as much as I trust anybody. That's why you got this job. Oh, you mean I'm getting paid for this? Very funny. <laughs> now, I want you to look and listen. Keep your eye on the cheerleaders and the other players. If Tilson was into gambling, chances are some other people knew about it. Great. I always wanted to be a private eye. That's the only thing private about you. Mike! <laughs> Just keep your eyes open, your ears open, and your pom-poms moving. Dana! Why don't you look out for my girl? She's a little nervous. Hi, Zelda. Hi, Dana. Not to worry, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> uh, Tracy, we have a new recruit here. Could you show her the routine? I haven't been paid in two weeks, and my two left feet hurt already. Kid, don't worry about a thing. I'm gonna make you a star. Go on, break a leg. Eight to five, I do. <laughs> I've got something for you. Right up there. Come on. Thanks for waiting, Angelica. Hammer, Angelica Walters. Ms. Walters, I'm investigating Pete Tilson's murder. I heard. You were Pete Tilson's girlfriend. I know this must be a tough time for you, but I've still got to ask you some questions. I'll try and help you, Mr. Hammer. But I guess I'm still in shock about Pete. Yeah, I understand. Did Pete ever throw a game? I mean, was he tied into any kind of heavy gambling? Gambling? Pete would never have done anything like that. Oh, come on, Angie. You told me you were ready to talk. Gee, Dana, I must have been upset. I guess you misunderstood me. Mike. Did somebody get to you? What do you mean? I mean, somebody might have promised you a lot. Hey, nobody promised me anything. Oh, yeah? To help you forget that your boyfriend got a bullet through his brain? Or maybe they scared you. Scared you enough so you wouldn't talk. Either way, you're involved, Miss Walters. You can't just walk away. I don't have to hear this. Angelica, you told me that Pete was into heavy betting. That he hooked the other players at those parties on his boat. His boat? <laughs> just a party boat Pete had down at the Hudson River Basin. We had lots of fun there. Look, I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's over. Listen, you were his girlfriend, you were his lover, and you don't want to talk about it? Well, you won't have to if they come and lean on you hard enough. Well, they won't. Oh, yes, they will. It's a cruel world, Miss Walters. You get in too deep, you drown. You come down hard. Only when I have to. Would you work me over like that? Would I have to? Some games need a lot of cheerleaders. Others just need one. Coming. That towel is hey, here. 
Love to spend more time with Dana, but not while the killer was invading our privacy. I'll call you. You better. I've got a short fuse him. Then stay away from matches. way to cure these? Some good food, something to drink, and the right company. Oh, sure. Every jock's idea of gourmet heaven is a couple of well-burned grease burgers, a bucket of brew, and hey, baby, let's rattle them bones. <laughs> Come on, you got me wrong. <laughs> oh, you mean you're interested in my mind? I'm serious. I'm talking first-class French restaurants and good wine, good talk. I've got expensive taste. So have I, but I can't afford them. Well, I've got a little something going on the side. Are you interested? Check me after practice. Tony. How do you know my name? Everybody knows you, Tony. You're famous. Look, Cam, I don't feel like chatting. You're also very rich. I happen to know because you and your buddy Tilson made a few very substantial bets on games where the point spread was no problem. Get lost. But you're going to have a problem, pal. Because sooner or later, you're going to have to talk to the FBI, the IRS, or me and Betsy. So I strongly suggest you make a quick choice. Look, Hammer, I've been in the league 14 years. I've never been a superstar, but I earned my money. I got a trick knee, I've got shoulder separation, I got bone damage. I have paid my dues. But I heard Tilson talking. I knew he was making bets. So I laid down a little money along the way. Did you know that Tilson was throwing games? Maybe I didn't want to know, but I didn't pull anything. So you can blow the whistle on me, Hammer, but that's all you're going to get. Except maybe a busted head. I wondered if anything smelled peculiar in the locker room beside old sweat socks. What happened to you? Occupational hazard. Say, look, you look like you'd give a great massage, and uh, I could really use one. I wouldn't know which end to start with. I was thinking about a back rub. I wouldn't want to rub you the wrong way. I bet you wouldn't. The locker room equipment sure had changed since the days when I played ball. Suit up, Hammer. You sure you got my size? Put it on! Yeah, okay. I didn't know what was going on. I could only guess that these guys wanted me to suit up as their idea of a practical joke. It was the kind of humor that hits you over the head.
Did I score? Fortunately, I didn't have any broken bones, but a lot of them were bent. When I promised Nick Stanton I'd find Pete Tilson's killer, I didn't realize there was going to be so much trouble. And speaking of trouble... Well, hello. When did you move in? How's it going? Mike. Terrific. Never better. What happened to you? Well, I went to a very strenuous tea party. I overdid the watercress sandwiches. Chrissy, mm -hmm. I'm not in the mood. And don't look at me like I'm crazy. Where are you going? Take a hot shower. Mike. Alone. Well, I could wash your back. It's already clean, thanks. Well, then you can wash mine. Mike. My place was becoming like Grand Central Station. Michael. I'd have to talk to my super. For some reason, he thought he was supposed to let girls into my apartment. Mike! Come on. Chrissy? Yes? Yes? I want you to tell me something. To tell you what I just found out about the team, or maybe why people kill. What? Oh, that'll turn you on. Stop playing cute, Chrissy. Okay. Daddy talked to the team. He's in danger of losing the Marauders. And the insurance company is holding back. They don't want to pay off Pete Chilson's policy. And today, we've got an anonymous offer to buy the team for zilch money. Well, somebody's got a pipeline into the Marauders. And they know you're trying to hock it. And they know you're in trouble. That's why they're trying to steal the team. Chrissy, towel. <laughs> Mike! Yeah? You know, you shouldn't leave the door open like this. Somebody could come in. And... Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't know that you... It's not what you think. I was just taking a shower. You got anything? Yeah. All right, I'm going to get dressed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Miss Denton. Tell me, am I an attractive, sexy, desirable woman? Well, <laughs> I'm not. No, yes, you, you are, absolutely. <laughs> then tell me, what's wrong with your Betty? Power failure? Say, Mike, uh, is there anything I could do for you? Yeah. You know a good chiropractor? What about you, Chrissy? Yes, Michael, darling. Mm hmm Young lady, you can just stay put right here. I can't believe you. My tie, please. Chrissy. <laughs> I guess I'm old-fashioned, that's all. I don't believe in fooling around with my friend's daughters. So please, give me a break. What'd you get? Yeah, the bullet that killed Tyson was small caliber, low power, silencer. Short range? Less than 100 feet. Well, it couldn't have been any of us. I mean, Mike, you were right there. Yeah, and it's even money I didn't do it. Of course, I wouldn't give you odds on anybody else. Cheerio. I knew that Tilson's killer was somebody on the field. Now all I had to do was narrow the field. Mike, Dana Ward left a message for you. Thanks. Friend of yours? Very. Banzai, Johnny. Yeah, good day to you. What do you got? Tilson shaved a few points, even pulled a couple of ball games. But I mean, he never, never made a bet. What? Are hey, you losing me? Read my lips. Somebody else did. Wrecked a few bookie friends of mine. They lost on large amounts. So, who won? Who won? They'd love to know a mystery person. B. 
Big money, big winnings, no names, no trails, nothing. Mysterious. Tilson's partner. Tilson makes the moves, his partner makes the bets. They both make money. It's nice and dirty. Hey, more nice than dirty, Mikey. I estimate they clear 2.8 million. Whew, it's a lot of scratch. Almost worth killing for. Mike. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy Lofton, huh? Remember you from the Super Bowl. Cost me a bun. Mike, whatever you want, I might have it. I'll keep checking. Okay, Johnny. He's a friend of mine. He's a math teacher. What's the matter with you? You look stiff. Bad news, Mike. The networks are gonna cancel the Murata's TV contract. It could bankrupt the team. What? It could also kill Nick. Why? Rumors about Pete Tilson, about dumping games, gambling. They're nervous, man. Yeah, well, he's depending on that TV contract. I mean, he loses that, he's gonna lose a whole ball of wax. He's got a lot of debt. Some shark could pick the team up cheap. I know. Mike. Ever since I was a kid, I've had a piggy bank. I mean, I could dig up maybe $50,000, and I've got friends. We could raise enough money to help Nick. That's great, buddy, but I'll tell you something. I don't think Nick would take it. I'll tell you what you can do, though. Stall the network. If I could give them any reasons to hold off, sure. You'll have it. I'm getting close. I had a dream about you last night. Wonderful. Yeah, I just need some time, that's all. I'll get it for you. Thanks, all pro. I'll see you later. be a baseball. Come on. Dangerous toy. Thanks, buddy. You can play on my team anytime. You gotta be leaning on somebody, Mike. They wanted you dead. Yeah, well, it takes three strikes. Listen, I'm gonna head for the boat base and talk to your people. Get me some more time. You got it. I had an appointment to meet Dana at Pete Tilson's boat. It seems that Angelica, Pete's girlfriend, had decided to change her mind. Hello, Angie. I hear you found your missing memory. I lied to you before. And you're going to tell me the whole truth now? Why the sudden change? Mike, she's scared. Look, I don't have anybody. I mean, I'm out in the open. I'm all alone. I want you to help me. I want you to keep me alive. I want to help you, Angie, but you've got to help me. You've got to start talking. All right. Pete threw great parties here. Anything anybody wanted. Food, liquor, all kinds of goodies. And girls. And me. Is that why they call this boat Sweet Dreams? People get drunk. I mean, they go out of control. Sometimes it got wild. And Pete made tapes of all of us. He liked to own people. I'm sorry, Angie, but Pete Tilson died for his sins. Now, I want who killed him. I want his partner. Darling, this is my Christmas present to you. Pete made a tape of his partner at one of the parties here. He did? Where is it? He kept it hidden for insurance, he said. It's mixed in with the other tapes under here. I don't know which one it is. You have to lift that in. Theater here on A&E. Angelica had just wanted to have fun. 
and she was you. She just wanted to be safe, and now she was dead. Thank God Dana wasn't. Mike? Mike? Look, I warned you to stay. Mike? I'm okay. They say it's only a flesh wound. Angie? I'm afraid you didn't make it. Mike, I'm so sorry. It's my fault. No, Mike. No, I said I'd take care of her and make sure that she was safe. Okay, I'll be in touch with you. I want a complete statement from you before you go. I'm not exactly overjoyed that all the evidence is burned. Not to mention a young girl. Right, Galahad. I'm sorry about the girl, and sometimes these things happen. Wrong, Barrington. Murder just doesn't happen. It's committed by somebody. And I'm warning you, just don't go off half-cocked. Fully cocked, believe me, counselor. Chrissy. Boy, am I glad to see you. I was scared half to death. I heard on the radio and I thought something terrible. No, I'm all right. Just a little dirty, that's all. I'd take another shower if I thought I was safe. Oh, funny. I've been looking for you for more than an hour. I took a belt and a light and easy. Nobody knew where you were. I was really worried, and then I heard on the news. The killer knew where to find me, all right. How? I invited him. I don't get it. Yeah, but he will. When I realized who the killer was, it hit me in the face like a splash of ice-cold battery acid. talk to you, Hammer. Yeah? I'm listening. Okay. I apologize. What? I was out of line. I apologize. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Looking for somebody special? I am. I think I found it. Tilson away and you slept like a baby. You burned Angie alive and it didn't mean a thing. It was like stepping on a cockroach. That's how I feel about you. This is just between us. Good. It'll be quick. Nothing heavy. Oh, yeah? Like Angelica? Like Pete? Pete? He was a quarterback. They get to believe their publicity. We could have taken over the team. Owned the Marauders. But he got flaky. Unreliable. <laughs>
touchdown. I was glad that Nick could keep his team and maybe even raise another prize quarterback. No matter how bad things get, there's always another day, another game. In fact, tomorrow, the Jets were playing the Cowboys, and I was hoping the point spread would be on my side. Sunday, Bob Veal is fixing to move down south for another all-new a and &E special presentation at 8 Eastern, 9 Pacific. And now, Remington is on the run, being chased by a deadly trio of jewel thieves, next on A&E.